Let's solve one previous question of Q. This question was asked in GATE CH 2022, question number 52. Consider the Q's Q1 containing four elements and Q2 containing none, shown as the initial state in the figure. This is the initial state. Q1 contain 1, 2, 3, 4 and Q2 is empty. The only operations allowed on these two Q's are NQ and DQ. NQ is always at rear side and DQ is always at head. We can delete from front and we can insert at back. The minimum number of NQ operation on Q1 required to place the elements of Q1 in Q2 in reverse order shown as the final state in the figure. This is our final state without using any additional storage is dash. First step will DQ from Q1 and will insert at Q2. So DQ from Q1 and NQ1 at Q2. After NQ we will get this. Now Q1 contain 2, 3, 4 and Q2 contain 1. Next again we will DQ from Q1 and we will NQ at Q2. So we will insert that 2 in Q2. Now Q1 contain 3, 4, Q2 contain 1, 2. But in final state it is in reverse order that is why we will reverse it. So what we will do? We will DQ from Q2 and we will again NQ that in Q2. So after DQ and NQ at Q2 we will get this. Next, we will DQ from Q1 and we will NQ at Q2. Now, Q2 contain 2, 1, 3. It should be 3, 2, 1. It should be in reverse order. That is why we will DQ from Q2 and we will NQ at Q2. Again, we will DQ from Q2 and we will NQ at Q2. That it will be 3, 2, 1. So, now DQ from Q2 and NQ at Q2 will get this 1 3 2 again one more time dq from q2 and nq at q2 now we'll dq this one and we'll nq this one at q2 after this we'll get 3 2 1 next we'll dq from q1 and nq at q2 so after nq4 at q2 we'll get this now at Q2 we have 3, 2, 1, 4 but it should be 4, 3, 2, 1. So what we will do? We will DQ from Q2 and NQ at Q2. Again DQ from Q2 and NQ at Q2. Again another time DQ from Q2 and NQ at Q2. So we will get 4, 3, 2, 1. Now step 8. DQ from Q2 and NQ at Q2. 3 will be after 4. Next DQ from Q2 and NQ at Q2. We'll DQ 2 and we'll NQ 2 at Q2. Now it will be 4, 3, 2. Again one more. DQ from Q2 and NQ at Q2. We'll DQ this one and we'll insert that one at Q2. In question it is asking the minimum number of NQ operation on Q1 required to place the element of Q1 in Q2 reverse order. We did 10 NQ but all 10 NQ are on Q2. So without doing a single NQ at Q1, we reverse the order in Q2. That is why answer will be 0. Not a single NQ operation at Q1, we did NQ at Q2. If the question will be maximum number of NQ operation at Q1, like in initial state it was 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can DQ from Q1 and you can NQ at Q1, then again DQ, then NQ, then again DQ and NQ. Now you can DQ this 4 and insert in Q2. So like that you can also do, but that will be maximum number of NQ operation on Q1. But as question is asking about minimum number of NQ operation at Q1, so without doing a single NQ, we can reverse the order in Q2. So answer is 0. I already discussed Q just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.